Ms. Murphy, you claim you had a short, passionate relationship with the defendant, Mr. Miles, and then you became pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. Now you say he's married and wants to forget he has a three-year-old son. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Miles, you argue that the only person you're trying to forget is Ms. Murphy. Yes, Your Honor. You deny paternity of her son and say her friends and family have told you another man is his biological father. Ms. Murphy, how has Mr. Miles participated in your son's life? Your Honor, this man has not done anything for my son. I can count on one hand how many times he's ever even came to visit his son. Oh. On top of that, he refers to my son as the boy. The boy. How's the boy doing? How's your son doing? What's his name again? Him and his daughter, they all look alike. They all have the same face, but he doesn't... He, he won't acknowledge that at all. What happened when you told him you were pregnant? He said, I don't want you to have this baby. This is not okay. I can't... I don't need this type of attention. I don't... He, di he didn't need it. You know, he was, he was man enough to make that baby, but he can't be man enough to take care of it. He has not done anything. This is exactly he wasn't what I willing told her. to pay for the paternity the, the paternity test and that's not any true. other way. He said he didn't have the money for it. If that's the case, Your Honor, we would not be here. It would already okay. be taken care of. So, sir, are these assertions true? What is going on with this situation? Well, Your Honor, first and foremost, um, I never said that I didn't want to do things for him. I just was under the impression that it was not my son due to the fact of stuff that was told to me by family members. You know, she would tell me one minute she's pregnant by me, then she'd tell me, I asked her, what's the reason you got hickeys on your neck? And she tells oh me... God. Really? And she, tell, and she tells me because really? um, the guy that's at, um, at her mom's complex pushed her up against the washing machine and put hickeys on her neck. Really? No, really? that didn't fly with me. Your Honor, that's a lie. I, when I was talking to him, I was only talking to him because I was so busy about how am I going to get back to his house? How am I going to get over there and see him? I really liked him at the time that we were seeing each other. I was not talking to anybody. All that he's saying is a lie. I've never so even had... So, in your it. opinion, sir, what was the nature of the relationship with Ms. Murphy? Your Honor, um, to say it was a relationship, I couldn't say that. I could say it was more of we were cool, we were friends, you know. It was... I wouldn't say it was a relationship. Were you both committed to one another? I couldn't even say that, Your Honor. Were no. you aware, um, whether or not she was sleeping with anybody else? Yeah, her family members told me specifically the family that she that was you were sleeping with. The family members told me oh. that she was getting around. The family members told me that she was getting around. The family See, members that Ms. he was sleeping um, with told Ms. Him Murphy, that. Ms. Murphy knew that I was already dealing with one of her family members. She knew that. Never did I. She knew that. So you were Never in a sexual I. relationship with a family member. Correct, and she knew that. Before Never knew. Your you Honor. two had a sexual relationship. Your Honor. Yes, and she was fully aware of and that. And what did that person say specifically? She told me specifically, I don't know why you're dealing with Tanisha, um, well, Miss Murphy, because she gets around. And she's not the only person that told me that. I get friends around. Of, friends of hers have, have also told me that she gets around. But, Mr. And, Miles, do you think that and, information is credible given the fact you were in a sexual relationship? relationship with that person? Um, well, not really. Um, yes and no, Your Honor. And what I mean by that is I try to give Miss Murphy the benefit of the doubt to not listen to what everybody else was telling me, but she pretty much painted the picture for herself on what she was about. Your that, Honor, me, Your so Honor, that's, that's, that's Ms. a Ms. Murphy, lie. I need, I need you to respond specifically okay. to these claims. Bes besides... The, okay, the, about the family part, he, I never knew that he was dealing with any of my family. That's ridiculous. Were you dating, seeing Mr. Miles exclusively, or were you all in an open relationship? I never knew about it being an open relationship. This... He told me plenty of times that he loved me, you know, all this type of stuff. Um, I, I went over there pretty... Every, anytime I could. There's possibilities I could be the father. There's possibilities of not because the type of lifestyle that she carried around. Now, one thing about me... But one you, thing you about got me, around too, though. One thing about Every me, girl one in Fresno knows Kiva, though. Okay, one thing about me, and a lot of the men know you, 
Okay. No, one they don't. About, no, yeah, they, they don't. You. I've been with three people you. in Fresno. And that's not been true. with three people okay. in Fresno. One thing, one thing about know. me, one thing you about know. me is, is all my children that I have, I have, I have a relationship with my children. This child, I don't even, I, I don't know if it's my child or not, because I know what type of woman I was dealing with. The type of stuff that you start doing, you let me see this stuff. You, she let me see this stuff what for herself. Stuff? Okay. She you don't got no okay. stuff. It's this, just that the hickeys on her. The hickeys on her. Never neck. had hickeys yeah, yeah, before. You did. Yeah, okay. you did. Okay. Never had hickeys. Okay. The hickeys you, you, on her. You neck. gotta have another piece house. of evidence besides these hickeys. Okay. Well, Thank so, you. Okay. So move my forward from that. This. My evidence is this. Okay. Every male and female know what sex smells like. She came over to my house smelling like she had sex with somebody. You can tell she was potent. I'm just keeping I it real. I came over your house so, smelling like and, 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 and what let me know that she was getting around was the fact that every single time she was around my male relatives, she was always flirtatious, wearing skimpy stuff. Really? As a respect level, and you have somebody really? that you supposedly talk my to. My mom wouldn't even buy that skimpy stuff. Way, okay, she never listens to, she never listened to anything that somebody tells her. Miss Murphy did what Miss Murphy wanted to do. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I have not heard sufficient evidence to believe why you wouldn't think you potentially could be this beautiful young man's father. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for saying. the evidence. And you're on a Don't thing. you say hickeys again. Okay, you're on Because <laughs> hickeys don't make babies. <laughs> know what evidence you have that fuels Nothing. your doubt. I never said that it wasn't a possibility he couldn't be my child. What I said was this, I wanted to make sure, because a mouth can tell you anything and she can sell stories quick. So I wanted to know for myself if that was my child. I don't see none of the features on him of me. And I it's don't. taking you three years? I don't see none of the features It's taking of you three years see, to it do that? It, it wasn't about the fact of trying to put the Those blame years. on her. I've been trying to talk to he you to get like you to you. understand, you like singing to just you to like understand you. what's going he on. He cannot sing just like you. Well, that's, I've well, been, that's, it's I've all been, you. Listen, I've listen, 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 listen. I'm glad you did take this opportunity Opportunity Me to too. develop and further your testimony because in the beginning you were pretty much saying yes I had sex with her yes the sex was unprotected however there's no way I could be the father of this no, child Your Honor, that's and that just I'm didn't saying. make sense now you have a witness I'd like to hear from her ma'am please stand and step to the podium your name my name is Mrs. Miles Mrs. Miles and you are Mr. Miles's Wife. Wife. Yes. And ma'am, yes. how long have you been together? About four years. For four years. Almost oh, four years. wow. And my son is three. Come yes. on now. And the child <laughs> is three years. She was I nowhere in the picture. <laughs> I went over there every, almost every day. Whoa, she was nowhere in the picture. I nowhere. Said almost four years. Almost four years. He's almost. not even almost four yet. She, yeah. I know, no, I know, I know nothing about Tanisha or Tequari at all. Right. I found out we got together in 2012. I found out in 2013. And so when and you so, found out, that was just a year ago that right, you found out. Right. If Miff Murphy would have thought that I was her son, Kiva would have told me before we even got together. Not necessarily. Like, I, is that, like, is that, that no, like, I, like he told me, like he told me about his other baby mamas. I know about them before we got together. But I've been barely found out. I know about them like, before we got together is this too. an issue? Do you take issue with Ms. Murphy because of this or be with your husband? Kind of both, both. Okay. Because I feel like, I feel like, exactly. as her being a woman, I feel like she should have came to me, not the other baby mama saying that my husband's a deadbeat dad. No, she no, 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 no. But wait, I never said he was a deadbeat. That's your I never said he was a deadbeat. She... Never said he was a deadbeat. What responsibility never. does she have to come to you to tell you that exactly? Husband... You're you're with his father. You're with his father. You should have came to me and said, "This is his son. If it is his, I want him to get in his life. I want him to get his know his brother." Oh, wait a minute, okay, now, Miss Murphy, hold on, hold him on, so hold that you can on. be around him. Wait, just like his dad. No, Miss Murphy, hold on. You're saying she should have come to you. Honestly, you're. Honor, I feel that if she's with his father, you, she, if he get, if he sees him, he she's gonna be there. She's gonna have to get around him. So in order to eliminate all the problems, I felt like if if that's if she's saying how she really felt, she would have came and been like, you know what? We need to see if this baby is it's his. He needs to meet his brothers and sisters. Look, 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 look. look. I, I am feel. all look, look, look. I, I am all about. Let me have a statement in this courtroom. <laughs> 
matter back. in the court. I'm trying to tell you all, you all are way off the path to something constructive. Everything is leading us in the wrong direction and when we should be leading to trying to find some type of answer, peace, and a positive future for Takori. May I say something? No! Okay. <laughs> he has to be honest with his wife about the situations he's involved in when they meet and marry. Whether or not the paternity had been established, he still has to be honest and say, I potentially have an issue in my life that involves a paternity suit, and I, I, I may have to deal with this. Likewise, it is not Ms. Miles' responsibility to You're come right. to you and try to create a co-parenting situation between her husband and you. Right. You all need to get that. Now, another man is raising to Corey as his own. Yes, and I have... And that's your witness. Yes. Sir, I would love to hear from you. And we, we have... He has such... He has such a good relationship with this man. I provided videos and everything to see how much a father he's been to this boy. Sir, state your name. My name is Mr. Narbias. Thank you for being here. Uh, Mr. Narbias, please explain the nature of your relationship with Takori. Well, I've been with Tanisha since Takori was two months. I'm his, I'm his dad, no doubt about it. Like, I'm not biologically, but you know, like, everything this boy there know, is there. everything he there know, I there. teach him. He got favorite colors. His favorite color is my favorite color. You know, we play games. I taught him his colors. I taught him his numbers, his ABCs. ABCs. Teach him, taught him everything that he knows. You know, like, when he wake up, when he wake up in the morning, the first thing he do, he wake me up. Daddy, I'm hungry. Daddy, I love you. Good morning, Daddy. When he's hurt, he don't go to mommy, he goes to no, daddy. daddy. When I go to work, he cries even though his mom is there. Mm -hmm. To be honestly truthful, it don't matter to me if he was the father or not because I'm the dad. I've been there. I'm gonna be there no matter what happens. Truly speaking. I've been here. I gave, I gave if, if Kiba was the father, I gave Kiba chances to be there for Sakori, and he didn't take them. When you say you gave him chances, what what did you do to reach out to him? Um, I, I told him he can come and see Sakori. I didn't care, you know. I let them go outside, have 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 fun time, have father son time. Let them do, you know what I mean? Like, be a part of your son's life. You know what I mean? That's what I let him do. But he keeps coming. In, he keeps coming in and out. One you minute it's his son, the next minute it's not. Mr. Miles, as you look at those pictures of another man with a son that could potentially be yours. Well, Your Honor, honest opinion, that's fine and dandy that he is doing those things. That's great he is doing those things. you won't. I never... No, it's not the fact that I won't. It's the fact, like I said beforehand, when a relative tells me that she's dealing with other people, that gives me... That gives me wonders to wonder whether that's my child or not. Well, However, I'm not here to argue or try to make a fool out of nobody. I'm here to find out if Takori is my son. And if Takori is my son, that doesn't matter what she does or what he does, I'm gonna be in my son's life. As simple as that. We'll see. And, 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 and nobody is trying to nobody is trying to take away from you being a father figure inside of his life. I put it like this: due to the fact the whole time that we've been knowing each other, it's always been disrespect between her, calling me at my name, all kind of stuff. So we never had a good relationship type to be able to talk to her and stuff like that. Whether he's inside of that that child uh, to Corey's life or not. You know, yeah. after I find out if it's my son or not, I would never pry that away if you gained a relationship with him, but I'm gonna do my part as a dad and do what I need to do. Good. But in the, That's but in exactly the same, what I needed to but hear. But in the same sense, now, Judge... Now, Ms. Murphy, if he is the biological father, he's just stated that he wants to step up and he wants to do what he should do for his son. And I'm perfectly What if he that. is not? I don't... There's no way that he couldn't be. No way. No way. He was dealing with people. Okay, what'd you say? It's all Jerome, right. I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Murphy v. Miles, as it pertains to the paternity of three-year-old to Corey Murphy, 
Mr. Kiba, Miles. You are his father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to lie. No reason. No reason. That is such a relief because I've been raising my son by myself for three years and it's hard. Not by yourself. It is hard. Not by myself, but by myself. You know what I'm saying? He yes, don't have I to do. do nothing if he don't want to do it. But I've been doing this by myself. So I don't so have nobody father, to call. So as a father, let's work together. All this arguing, all this disrespect that you do be doing. Keep let's it. listen. Your let's Honor. minimize. Your Honor. Let's listen. Quiet, listen. Your Honor. Let's, okay. you know, exactly. Um, I'm so happy to Corey at least now knows who his father yes. is. You know, it's it's I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to tune you all out because it's just, it's becoming heads yapping. And the DNA results are in. You two are parents, but he also has step parents. You all are his village, but you're burning it down. You can begin again today for this beautiful child's sake. The court has resources for you. We're gonna help you begin to go through this process. Take advantage of it. Take it seriously. Step outside of yourself and, my baby and decide what's best for the child. I wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. Mr. Gower, you are here to prove to Mr. Ducasse that he is your biological father. You say after your mother's tragic death, you were told by your grandmother that Mr. Ducasse is your dad. It has been more than 16 years since you laid eyes on the man you believe is your father. Are you ready to see him? Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, can you please escort him in? Yes. Mr. Ducasse. Yes, Your Honor. When you just walked up, I looked at Mr. Gower. You couldn't really even look at him. You didn't look at him. You didn't look at one another. No, um, no particular reason. You say you are certain that you're not the plaintiff's biological father and you claim you had a one night stand with Mr. Gower's mother and she was in a long term relationship at the time with another man and that he is the biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Gower, you say today's results mean more now than ever. Explain. Your Honor, I come here today to tell you that this has been real hard for me. This, been, this is an emotional moment for me. The fact that for 24 years of my life, not having no mother, losing her when I was four years old, and then the fact that my father just stranded me, knowing the pressure that I'm gonna have to deal with by myself, of not being there for me, it hurts me. Because the fact that I had to depend on my grandparents to take care of me when I was in need, and I am highly grateful, and don't get me wrong, I am highly grateful for them. Because without them, I don't know where I'd be, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. I am 24 years old. I have graduated grade college with a college degree. I am, have no kids. I have my own car. I have my own place without you. I need answers. Yeah. I need an answer and I deserve it. Because no child, even if I had a child of my own, I would never leave my child stranded if that's my own blood. You're not considered no man to me, you're a coward. Mr. Ducasse, when you hear Mr. Gower mm -hmm. speak so passionately about what he's experienced, what he's felt, how do you stand by and be so emotionless? You truly don't believe you're his biological father? Uh, no, Your Honor. At the time, she basically made it clear to me that she wasn't sure if it was me or the other person that was involved. Well, if you wasn't, excuse me, Leroy, mm -hmm. why did you name him Sanchez after your best friend? You came to the hospital. No, no. no you no. said his head was shaped just like yours. And matter of fact, looking at your head now, and then looking back at Sanchez when he was first born, y'all's head do look alike. <laughs> so, Mr. Ducasse, yes. this is what I want to understand. What was the nature of the relationship with 
Mr. Gower's mother. When I met his mother, right, she was in a two-year standing relationship and she made it real clear to me. Secondly, we only had one encounter of which I used a withdrawal method. So actually, to speak honestly, I've never, you know, fully... Finished the act? Yes, finished the act. You said you just had a one-night stand. Yes. After that happened, you know, I tried to basically just be there for her. We had progressively became more attached. So you developed a friendship, but it is your testimony that you were only intimate with her one time. Yes. Did she ever tell you that she told the other man that when she got pregnant that he was Mr. Gower's biological father? She didn't actually make it clear to who was. You, why would you not take a paternity test? Well, guess what? At the time when your mom was alive, I was going to do it, but I didn't know... That I is had... no excuse. Wait, wait, hold on. Secondly, I was really upset with the fact that when your mum passed, I didn't even get informed by your family. I didn't get invited to the funeral. You don't Guess get invited what to a stop funeral. Guess what happened? Stop it, stop it, stop so it. So you Let don't understand? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Do you read the paper? Give me hold a on, chance. she knew she died Give in the car me accident. A, I, know she, I know she died. My only child. Do you know how I know she died? A friend of mine called me and told me no, that saw on the news. No, my wait, wait, family stop it. member told you stop it. at the church hold that on, you... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 they did not. No, they yes, they did. Okay, no, they didn't. hold on, finish. hold on. Let's get some order. The so, Mr. Came... Ducasse, let me interrupt you briefly. Yes. What I'm understanding, because sometimes I have to translate, you felt like when Mr. Gower's mother passed away, mm -hmm. you were not made aware, you weren't informed... That's exactly ..that when you didn't became. get the information... It made you feel even further away from the family, I like... ostracized. And this is why I feel like these moments are so important. It, it never ceases to amaze me how for 20 and 30 and 40 years, moments and times that have been perceived by two people in two completely different ways mm -hmm. can draw a line in the sand that they never figure out how to cross for years and years and years. And I'm not letting you off the hook, Mr. Ducasse, because I will say this, I agree with Mr. Gower as a man, go find a lawyer, anybody, and say, I may have a child out there and their mother's passed away. What do I do? I had interfered with a two-year long-standing relationship, all right? So what I'm trying to say to the court here is that it's not to say that basically I was like, what you couldn't say, irresponsible or diminish, you know, my, my obligation. At the time, I was adamant to the fact that there was no premises that could substantiate or validate any merit towards me being Sanchez's father, okay? Okay, hold on. Check this out, Your Honor. You're trying to tell me that when my grandparents found you, and they invited you over and they welcomed you. You told me, call me dad. Now, Hello. did you? No. Did you not? No. Yes, you did, did Lee you Roy. No, I don't remember that at all. And oh, I don't Mr. That. Gower, tell me how old you were when this... You know hold on, Miss Bass. Let, let, hold on, Miss Bass. I want Mr. Gower to explain this. How old were you? I was eight years old, Your Honor. You were eight years old? Yes, ma'am. And then what happened? When he left, I didn't hear nothing from him. So, when he did give us his number, I was 10 years old. I was 10 years old. I wanted to call him because I had a little event at my school and I wanted him to come to the program called Disconnected. And that was the last time? Last time. And it broke my heart. And I cried. I cried. And my grandmother said, it's all right, baby. And so what have these last 16 years been like for you? It's been hard. It really has. And I try to stay strong. And sometimes it's real hard, you know. That's why I want to major in child psychology because I hate seeing young kids, especially, go through stuff like this. How can men, and that's what I just don't understand, how can men have sex with women, get them pregnant, and then just leave them and put a toll on that child when this child didn't ask to be here? That puts a lot on these kids out here and nobody would never understand how these children feel. A lot of these kids wasn't raised up on love. They was raised up on survival. That's why I said, that's why there's a lot of young men that's in jail or dead. And all they needed was that father figure to show them how to be a man, but I had to be a man on myself. Mm -hmm. But there was one man that's been a father to me. That's my grandfather. Mm -hmm. That's my grandfather and I praise him. 
and you telling me you're not proud? I don't understand. You better go ahead and preach today. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay. okay I'm you're, serious. You're and hold on. But Mr. Gower, when I hear you speak, I am so proud of you and what you've been able to accomplish. And if nobody else says it, I am proud of you. When tragedy happens, we're not in our right minds. No, we're not. We are, I was very numb. I mean, you're losing your only child. My only child. I, 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 I know. My I, only child. Your only child. all I had. And I want to say to you, if I seem like I was mean then, I'm not. And I don't mean any harm in it. Whatever you feel, Leroy, mm -hmm. I want to say this. Women are protective over their daughters if they love. And she was my only child and she was a good girl. You was attracted to her. Yeah, I was very much. That was from my upbringing and her father's. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And she was a church girl. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. And Leroy, how yes. would you feel mm -hmm. if you was in my shoes? Just imagine what you got to go through. You know? And just then, no, listen to me. Listen, it's my time to talk. This is my time. And you're going you to listen to what I got to say. I'm grown enough now. I'm not no little kid no more. I'm here to tell you that could you handle being in my shoes? Can you? Could you handle not having your mother not in your life and then your father leaving you? Could you imagine what your life could be like? Could you imagine how hard it is Empty. for you to avoid the streets? Can you imagine how hard it is to grow up not knowing what's right and what's wrong? Can you imagine what it's like walking across the stage and your parents is not there? Can you imagine that? Can you not be in, just imagine not being wanted, period? And you're just stranded all by yourself. And you're trying to figure out life, but you gotta learn the hard way. And that's what I did. And look what God made me. I understand where you're coming from. I couldn't imagine it. I've never been in your shoes. Close your eyes. And all I can say to you right. is that, you know, I mean, I pray and I ask God to forgive me for any hurt that I may have, you know, imposed on you. And all I can say to you is this, is that from my perspective at that time, number one, there was a lot of maturing that I had to go through as well. What does that have to do with me? What, it has what to, does that have to do I'm with me? I'm just trying to let you know, okay, that there was a lot of things that occurred with me. Why, it's not to say that I didn't care about to figure out whether or not I had a son or not, right? is that the fact that so much has compiled on me, even uh, health, uh, health um, issues Mr. that Jeff, I... Mr. I'm yeah. just going to interrupt you because I, I think he does understand the things you're saying. Okay. And I mean, A, he's a young man, mm -hmm. but at 24, I think he understands that life continues to happen. I mean, it really does. But it doesn't negate the fact that there was an innocent life out there. And I think that's what Mr. Gower is saying. Now, yeah. Mr. Gower, you have brought me to tears today. <laughs> You really have, because the emotion you express, you know, I sit here every day, and what I try to do is be a voice for kids like you. But I couldn't have said it better than you said it today. Proud of you. It takes a lot for a young man your age to be that open to wear his heart on his sleeve and to be called to a moment in time where you can either shy away from the truth or you can honor your life, your past, your experiences, your struggles, your ups, your downs, your trials, your tribulations and step center stage in your own life and just do what you need to do. And you did that today. And I don't know what the results are, what they will be, I'm hoping we can get the answers that you need so desperately. But one thing I do know is that you'll have the truth. And that's why I know you're going to be all right. And I know your mother's there watching over you. Because I lost my mother too. And when you lose your mother, you have an angel unlike any angel. So you have to know that's why no matter what happens, you're going to be okay. Have you thought about what you'll do if you don't get the answer you're expecting today. Still continue my life. Still, I did it for 24 years. I made it, Your Honor. I did. And if, if it wasn't for God, and I give him nothing but the praise. And so now, 
I come to you today, Your Honor. I just want to know the truth. That's exactly what I'm going to get for you. With that said, it's time to get the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Gower versus Ducasse, when it comes to 24-year-old Sanchez Gower, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Ducasse, you are the father. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. <gasps> I, I didn't lie to him. I called your show because I needed an answer. And I wanted to know and I want to thank you. And that's why we do this. Yes. And Dad, I hope you're going to be there to help I am. him. I am. And witness him do this. Yep, yep, yep. Pops, I needed you, man. And I need you. I need you, man. You got me. And I love you. And I forgive I you, you man. Okay.